Well, happy Memorial Day, uh, middle school and high school. Uh, I know it feels weird with with uh, no school uh, or school being out and all those kind of things, but summer's here, right? And Memorial Day kind of marks the beginning of summer, but it marks also a lot of other things. And I know you know a lot about those, but I was I was thinking um, this morning. You know, I've got two grandpas that uh, both passed on, and and one. Uh, my grandpa Bert was a uh, World War II vet, and uh, he actually was on Okinawa. Got shot, got a Purple Heart. Um, doesn't let, did never like to talk about those stories very often. Uh, my other grandpa, uh, Grandpa Max, um, was a farmer, and uh, he didn't go into the war because he was an only child, and uh, some of the the uh, the draft rules. Um, Parents were able to, uh, they needed to have someone home to continue the family line, uh, to continue the family legacy, if you will. And one of the things that uh, um, he was known for, my grandpa Max, was just he was a hard worker, um, farming several hundred acres in northwest Missouri and, and doing those kind of things. So, But both grandpas both left a, a legacy uh, a legacy with me, a uh, legacy with obviously with my parents, and and one that I think that will also be passed down in some way too. So when you think about as a follower of Jesus, what kind of legacy are you leaving? And you might say, well, I'm just a middle school student. Well, your legacy is not something that you just kind of um, write down and leave on the day that you leave this planet. <clears throat> your legacy is built... Uh, decision after decision, moment after moment, relationship after relationship, and it's an accumulation of, uh, as Eugene Peterson would say, a long obedience in the same direction. And so I'm going to read a different devotion this morning. It's another one by Paul Tripp, and it, it's actually a, uh, has some, uh, it's a poem. It has a couple of very good passages of scripture on it. And then I'm going to challenge you with a couple of questions to think about as we uh, as we uh, enter into this Memorial Day. So the poem that he has is called Legacy. And it says, it's impossible not to. And it's more like a prayer. It's impossible not to. It will happen somehow, some way. I will leave a trail behind me. I will leave a well-traveled pathway with footprints for others to follow. Footprints of relationships, values, character, decisions made, actions taken, worldview, and worship. Footprints of some kind of glory. May my trail point others to the glory that can only be found in you. Psalm 145 verses 4 and 6 says, One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds, and I will declare your greatness. So again, I ask you, what is your legacy? What will it be? Uh, where will your life shout, and whose life will you magnify? First um, Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 through 15. Um, I hadn't thought necessarily about this passage in the terms of legacy, but I want you to think about it. Um, a legacy, what you're building, uh, what are you building your legacy and what foundation are you going to build your legacy on? Uh, chapter three, verse 10 says, according to God's grace, it was given to me. I have laid a foundation as a skilled master builder and another builds on it, but each one is to be careful how he builds on it for no one can lay any other foundation than what has been laid down. That foundation is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will become obvious. For the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed by fire. The fire will test the quality of each one's work. If anyone's work that he has built survives, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned up, he will experience loss, but he himself will be saved, but only as through fire. So that foundation coming on really the work of Jesus Christ. It reminds me that every, everything else that I do in this life is really meaningless other than laying a foundation on, on Jesus. And so what does that look like? A life of integrity, a life of honor, a life of uh, relationships that, uh, that are deep, 
And so what were yours? So the questions I have is like, even as a middle schooler, what sort of legacy are you leaving for your friends and family? As a high schooler, maybe as a senior, what kind of legacy do you want to leave or are you leaving? And for some of you, that may be a sense of regret, but this isn't over yet. And so you can start today leaving the type of legacy that you want to, one that is built on the foundation of Jesus. And whether it's built with gold or silver or wood or hay, <clears throat> it will still be a legacy that you built on the foundation of Jesus. And the second question is, what might you do to make your legacy point toward the glory that can only be found in God? In other words, how does your legacy point to the one who gives purpose, point to the one that actually gave a foundation for you to build a legacy on? How is what you do and how you live going to point to Jesus? Much like John the Baptist, what John the Baptist did is he simply pointed. His role was to point to Jesus. He wasn't the Savior. And so as we, uh, as we close today, I just say, um, ask you to, and challenge you, what is your legacy? Hope you have a great Memorial Day, and uh, we'll see you soon. And that's part of my legacy right there, waving her hand up. Um, that's Aubrey. Here, Aubrey, why don't you say goodbye to everybody, okay? <clears throat> say goodbye. Bye. Yeah, she's saying goodbye. This Bye. is part of my legacy is right here. So encouraging you here at this Memorial Day. Have a great day.